Hey everybody, welcome to tonight's pour. Tonight's pour is going to be a Hot Wheels themed painting. Now, I wasn't quite sure which Hot Wheels I was going to use tonight. Kind of came down and just thought, you know, I don't know which one I'm going to use. I'll just, I want to do something. I was actually thinking of just doing a large, a large piece. And it's getting late, so I decided to do just a regular... Uh, Hot Wheels themed one. So I was looking through uh, my collection that I have in here, and uh, so I found a car that um, was a is a how to, how to explain this. There was a number of years ago where I was where I was buying. I tried to buy the whole collection of that specific year's cars so i was trying to purchase each car that they made that year and this was like this had to have been early 2000s i think yeah it's 2000 so one car i just really liked it I, I don't know why i just liked it and so i was actually going through my uh my bigger collection uh that i basically have in, in totes and I was looking for a specific car and I found this car which is right here it's the hammered coupe and as you can see this is 2000 first edition so it wasn't actually in the year 2000 so it's, this is a 22 year old car uh yeah you can see there still it was 97 cents back then so I found about a dozen of these cars in my collection so i pulled it out and set it off the side and there's another car um that i had probably about a dozen of them was this one and uh grease lightning so i've been wanting to do that one too so that will be in the future but i had about a dozen of those a dozen of these i don't know why i had so many but uh so that's why i want to go to with tonight and i do love working with purples and so i decided to do this one tonight now the purples that i'm going to use is i'm going to do a purple background and i decided to go with a darker with so i got master's touch violet and then i'm going to use a little bit lighter which is master's touch and it is just purple so it's a lighter purple and then i am going to throw in a little bit of the artist loft metallic purple and of course i'm going to use some white and I'm, that's artist loft white so that's that's the white that i'm using so all i have to do is um adjust the camera and we can get started i've already got all the paints mixed and it's going to be a dutch pour which if you don't know what a dutch pour is a dutch pour is where you blow it out with a with a hair dryer or a, a, a hair an air gun or something or whatever a straw your your breath uh, doesn't matter that's that's a Dutch pour and with a Dutch pour you actually add a little bit more water into it to get it a lot thinner I would say or more liquidy to where it would it's really it'll it'll flow real easy if it's thicker you can't blow it even with a pretty good hair dryer if it does it just ripples instead of flows so uh so i got lots of water in these and i got a good consistency so i'm gonna i'm gonna have some fun with it tonight all right so i got my violet down and i got it torched to pop the little air bubbles out so Just gonna lay the purples down. Didn't have much of that purple. Not much at all, but I got more of this purple. So hopefully that other purple will pop show through.
Let's get the hair dryer. Oh, of course, let's leave it on the floor. So, getting old, harder to bend over. Actually getting quite a few cells in there. <laughs> Trying to see what I got here. I need a little, little something for it. Actually, I want to take this out of the case and see what it looks like on that purple that matches any at all. drawing. I think I'm going to leave it like that. They got a lot of great cell action right in there. There. Love that there. Got some good stuff here and there. And there's 
there's a lot right in there. If you really look close, of course, I know the camera won't be able to pick that up, but there's a lot right in there. So let's hope this dries well. And then, of course, the car will go right there. So I think that'll be a good piece. All right, this bad boy is dried. It, that purple is really dark. A lot of the white sank and it shifted a little bit or ran off the end at least. So it's not quite what I was hoping it would stay with, but I still like it. I think I'm gonna place the car about right there. So it has that str streak of white coming out. So I am using Pro Marine Resin. I get this on Amazon. I don't know if it's sold anywhere else, but that's where I get it. <clears throat> and I kind of switched. I don't know if they changed their formula, but I tried something else because I'd heard that it wasn't UV protect, protected or resistant or whatever they call it. And uh, I actually did have a couple pieces that had white in it that the white started turning yellow. And I was not happy about that because a couple of them were just beautiful pieces. And one of them I sold and I felt it was starting to go yellow and I felt kind of bad. I didn't say anything to them though. Is that terrible of me? But when I was buying the last my last supply of resin pro marine resin I saw it was UV resistant so I don't know if they changed their formula or if maybe they just had one and I got this one instead it was the same price well it was just just a hair more than what it normally was but I think it's just because of all the all the pricing going up all the inflation So, so I will stick with it because I, I kind of stopped using white as a background because I didn't, and it, the fun thing was, was that not all of my white, all, not all of my white ones with the background, the white backgrounds. We're turning yellow, it's just a couple of them, two or three. And so, I can start, I started using white as a background again. As a matter of fact, I just did, I just did a painting just a few minutes ago with a white background. I'm sure it'll be the next the next uh, video. Now I have a show, I want to get this done because I have a show Saturday, tonight's Thursday. I'll probably be posting this at least by tomorrow, Friday, come out on Friday. So if you're watching this and you live in the central Indiana area, you could come out to the show I'm going to be at. It's, in a, it's actually a fundraising event at 
the Sugar Creek Elementary School in New Palestine. New Palestine, I don't know how they really say it. I've been there multiple times. But I just, we just, around here we call it New Pal. So, uh, but it's going to be at the Sugar Creek Elementary School. And I will be there from like 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Saturday. So come out and say hi to me. I'd love to I'd love to meet you and say hi and talk talk with you. And I usually I've only done out of the four years now I've been doing vendor events. I've only done one out of state, and that was in Waynesville, Ohio, which is south of Dayton, and it was kind of a bust, so, and at the time, it was an outdoor event, and it was, a, it was an art festival, and so I was thinking, what better venue to do than an art festival for artists and it was about a two hour drive from where we live at that time to do to use our to do an outdoor event we had we have a canopy a 10 by 10 canopy and we had two cars so we couldn't fit the canopy and all of my display units and all the paintings in one car. Now we can get all the, the tables and display, the few display things we have and the paintings in my wife's, it's Bu it was a Buick at the time. And then I have a little, a little, you know, four cylinder comp, it's not a compact car, but it's a little car. And uh, so we could put the seat, the back seat forward and the canopy would fit through the trunk into the back seat so we had to take two cars and since it's a two-hour drive there and a two-hour drive back we decided to go up the night before and we got a hotel room and then of course we ate out and I think it was like 60 or 65 dollars for the event for the day they actually did one every month for the over the summer, and this was the first one they did that summer. And we thought, well, we because we almost signed up for all four of them. Thought, well, no, we'll do the first one and see how it goes. If it's a good event, we'll continue. If not, we won't do it anymore. And so we were doing at the first event. It was in June, I think it was. And so we spent money on a hotel. We spent, we took two vehicles, drove two vehicles down and back, two hours. Spent all day at this event. I think it was, like I said, I think it was $60 for the vendor fee. And that's exactly how much I made. I think, well, I think I made $65, maybe. I can't remember. I remember it's like either right at or just, just barely. Over. So it, we lost money on that one because we gas money and food and hotel. And we were tuckered out by the time we got home. And right as we were tearing down, we were almost tore down all the way and it started pouring rain. So we got soaked as well. So it wasn't a very good event. So we don't do any, any events outside of the state just because... I like to stay pretty close. I really don't even really like going more than an hour away, but sometimes we do. All right, so we got this. I got all the bubbles out. So I'm going to put the car in. Just kind of a, we'll drop it in. All right, so there we go. So we got a nice little purple. A nice little purple piece. The resin did... It was dark. It's still dark purple, but it has a little light, lighter spots in places. But it did kind of pull that purple out. It's a real dark purple. So this is a real purpley piece. And I'm sure a, a fan of purple 
will really enjoy this. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Help me grow so I can bring some more content. And as always, leave a comment. And let me know what you think of this purple. And if it turned out all right, if you liked it or didn't like it, if I talked too much, didn't talk enough, didn't explain enough, if there's something you need to know, please ask. Thanks for watching.